What if any person could see every single thing you Google? What about all of the information you send to your banking app? No one would choose to use the internet. Luckily, modern web applications use cryptography, specifically encryption, to ensure information remains confidential. Blockchains also use cryptography, particularly asymmetric cryptography. What is asymmetric cryptography, you ask? Let's learn the answer to that question in this Blockchain Basics for Developers video. Let's dive right in. Cryptography is the science of securely communicating in the presence of adversarial behavior. In practice, cryptography often involves encryption protocols that keep messages private between the senders and recipients. Cryptography also incorporates other ideas such as hashing. I cover hashing algorithms in another video if you want a refresher. The process of converting data to an unintelligible form to stifle adversaries is called encryption. The process of converting that unintelligible data back into its original form for the intended recipient is called decryption. The internet and modern computers heavily rely on encryption as a critical element in their security models. There are two types of cryptography and therefore encryption, symmetric cryptography and asymmetric cryptography. Encryption protocols often involve the concept of cryptographic keys are just keys, which are strings of data generated and utilized in the encryption and decryption processes. In symmetric key protocols, all parties use the same key, called the secret key, for encryption and decryption of messages. Thus, symmetric key encryption is often called secret key encryption. In asymmetric key encryption, which blockchains heavily use, a computer generates two different keys simultaneously a private key, and a public key. The private key is a random 256-bit number. In blockchains, elliptical curve cryptography is utilized to then create public keys from private keys. I will cover elliptical curve cryptography in more detail in a future video. For now, you can read more in the description below. The private key is kept hidden by the entity which generated the key pair while the public key is shared with other parties. The public key can decrypt any messages encrypted by the private key, and the private key can decrypt any messages encrypted by the public key. So, the private key holder is the only party that can receive and view messages generated by any public key holders. To get an intuitive understanding of how asymmetric cryptography keeps messages private, imagine private key holders as owning a locked postage box with a public address. Only the private key holder can open the box with their key and read the messages within. You can imagine the public key as a token with the address of the postage box. Anyone who has a copy of this token can send messages to the private key holder. The practice of sending authenticated messages using asymmetric cryptography is called digital signatures. To send a message with a digital signature, the private key owner must first create a hash of the message they wish to send. Then, the private key holder encrypts the hash with their private key. The message, alongside the encrypted hash, is sent to a recipient who holds the public key. The recipient can then decrypt the hash with their public key, hash the original message, and compare the hashes. If the hashes match, the recipient can be assured that the private key owner sent the message. Of course, this assumes that the owner keeps their private key genuinely private. Blockchains make use of asymmetric cryptography, specifically within crypto wallets. Public keys and private keys are secured within crypto wallets to create accounts and sign transactions sent to a blockchain. I will discuss wallets and transactions in videos later in this series. To summarize, asymmetric cryptography secures the internet and virtually every digital device today via encryption and digital signatures. Blockchains primarily utilize asymmetric cryptography in crypto wallets to sign transactions and send them to a blockchain. Asymmetric cryptography will continue to evolve and be an essential component in blockchains and the internet. And now, you're one step closer to understanding how it all works. Thanks for watching.
I'm signing off with my private key and I'll hash you in the next block.